Hello everyone, Janelle here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing two silicone nail mats and I'll include a demo at the end. I'm taking a look at two mats that I bought myself with my own money. The first mat that we have on the left is the Bundle Monster Lotus Mat. The size is roughly 16 inches by 12 inches and the price is currently $14 on their website. On the right, we have the Bliss Kiss Miracle Mat. It's approximately the same size as the Lotus Mat, 16 by 12 inches and that price is currently $20 on their website. The Lotus Mat is made of a cloudy, semi-transparent, acetone-resistant silicone. And after measuring, this is about 1 millimeter thick. It has a sectioned off Lotus print in the middle for a swatch organization, or you can use the black petals to easily see light stamping polish on top of darker colors. To test out your nail ideas, you get large oval and square nail templates along the top. Here is my hand for size. There's also a small measurement guide in centimeters in the corner there if you need to measure out nail stickers or any decorative trim. The Bliss Kiss Miracle Mat is also made out of acetone resistant silicone, except instead of semi transparent, this one is an opaque white. The thickness is pretty comparable, about 1 millimeter. First off, the Miracle Mat has slightly raised cups which are helpful if you are using decorations that roll around. The lip isn't very high, but it does help to keep decorations or even acetone contained in one spot. You also get a small raised border, again in case things roll around or to help contain any spills. Unlike the Lotus Mat, you don't get any blank nail templates that look like nails, but you do have various size grids for different sizes of your nails if you want to make a more precise sticker. And like the other mat, you get sectioned off black and white rectangles for dark and light stamping visibility. So now I'm going to list my general observations using these mats. Silicone quality is roughly the same. For both mats, you can't stamp directly onto the mat. The stamp needs a layer of top coat first. And speaking of top coats, I found Sesh Feet creates a slightly raised bubble effect in the mat. Kind of weird. HK Girl Glisten Glow slightly does that too. Thankfully, it doesn't permanently distort the mat. It's only temporary. Once you take off the sticker, then the mat is fine. Out of all of the stampers that I had, my super old Conad stamper had the most consistent results. So I would say firm, non-sticky stampers can work well. And every time I used a sticky stamper, it would pick up the entire top coat sticker, so it kind of defeats the purpose of using the mat. All in all, if I compare the two mats, they both serve its purpose to give you a clean, acetone-resistant space to work on. The Bundle Monster mat is slightly cheaper, which is a plus. It has example fingernail guides to test out your ideas and a ruler. The Miracle Mat is a little bit more expensive, but it does have a few more features, mainly the raised cups and border and the more accurate sticker sizing. So I'd say if you're real serious about nail art, I'd buy the Miracle Mat, but for its general purpose of table protection and cleanup, the Lotus Mat works just as well. Okie dokes, onto the demo. Both mats make stickers equally well. So let's first apply a thick rectangle of top coat and let it dry about 10 minutes or so. I'm using white Conad stamping polish and the Muyu Enchanted plate number 14 to make colored in chalkboard nail stickers with my old Conad stamper. And with hesitation, for me that never goes away, stamp the design onto that dry top coat sticker. And now for the fun part. You can use the mat as a paint palette, apply drops of color onto the mat, and then color in your stamp with a thin brush. The plate stamp designs had flowers, leaves, and vines, so I went for a pastel chalkboard artifact over black nail polish. Then I let the colors dry for about 5 minutes and I peeled off the sticker. I then applied a fresh coat of black nail polish then carefully added the sticker on top. My top coat layer was a bit too wide so I had to cut it down to size. The sizing templates would have helped a lot here but unfortunately neither mat had sizing templates over black. Maybe new mats can add this feature in the future? A synthetic brush dipped in acetone will get rid of that excess film and make it conform to the curve of the nail bed. Then after applying a layer of top coat, ta-da! Colored in chalkboard nail art using a silicone mat. So what do you think about silicone mats for nail art? Would you buy one? Comment down below or let me know your thoughts if you bought one. Bye bye Hey, did, did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We have no thumbs. <laughs> please subscribe. Bye.